I'll give you another example for consistency if you're still watching. Um, this matchup, you have to stop Jax from auto-attacking a lot. The main rule is just when he jumps on you, make sure you E back immediately. Don't let him hit you. Don't let him auto-W you. Don't let any, any bonus damage. Don't take bonus damage. As long as you count the amount of auto-attacks Jax does on you per trade and you react appropriately, the minimum, like, he needs, like, three or four autos to out-trade you. Because every time his, his E is on CD, he can't really touch the wave, you know? If he's playing aggressive, the way to counter that is to immediately E backwards. His E's on cooldown, then you can fight back. So, like, when you fight him, you can auto Q him, and the second he auto, you auto Q him, he uses E, you E backwards. He doesn't use E, you can still E out, but obviously it's a, it's a mind game, right? Whether or not he will use E or not. So, uh, just make sure that you don't let him auto you too much, and then uh, when you E's back on cooldown, you can play the mind game again. My lane's gonna be a bit rough, but it's fine. This is where stream gets reset? Absolutely, yeah. Also, when you're playing against Jax, a lot of people don't actually pay attention to this, but when you're playing against Jax, pay attention to like how much he's attacking the wave. When he's stacking his passive like this, uh, Jax is a really big lane bully. Uh, he gets a shit ton of attacks with 7% per stack. So when he has 6 stacks, dude, this guy is fucking lethal tempo, fully stacked. Of course he's gonna cave your head in. You know, you, you gotta respect. But on the flip side, he fast pushes when he does that, right? So you see how he, he stacked up, got the priority, and then stopped doing it? Uh, that's a good example of uh, what Jax players will be doing in these, in, in these situations. So he like instantly back off. He only hit me once with an auto attack, so that's fine. I'm not gonna trade because I don't want to get low for a uh, potential tower dive here. Actually, I wanted to punish him for this caddy. I lied. He's easy on CD, so I can punish him with the 50 Fury W there. Pay attention. If he's fast pushing the wave like that, that means the wave's coming to you. You know, you don't have to panic. Yeah, it looks like he's getting a big CS advantage, but he's really not. Once the wave is in a good position, like right here, you're chilling. Same idea. See, he jumps me. I, I don't panic. I just count the amount of autos he does on me. Count the autos. He auto autoed me once there. I don't give a fuck. Do you consider this matchup favored? It is Renekton favored. It is straight up Renekton favored. If both players are equally skilled and both players know the matchup, it is just straight up Renekton favored. See, like, there, I, he, he, he opened with E the entire time. Now he didn't. But you notice how the trade isn't even that good for him, even though he didn't use E, right? Like, the trade isn't particularly like, oh, I can't lane anymore. He just has a really big wave, so I don't want to fight him in that wave, right? And again, you're a champion of sustain. He has no sustain. Keep that in mind, guys. So even though the trade looks like it's completely equal, it's not. My champion heals. His doesn't. Uh, and then now I have the freeze, so as I said, this matchup I think is just completely Renekton in favor if both players are skilled. Um, uh, you can definitely brute force wins as Jack's side, and, and, and like, like, I guess, catch the, the Jacks off guard. Again, count the autos. Only one auto, that's fine. He has no E and I'm about to hit 6, so I'm gonna put my body on the wave here. That's fine. Now I have E again, so... He has E, I have E. Count the autos, he needs, he needs to get a lot of autos in. If he doesn't get the autos in, he loses. That's why I'm not all lending him, I'm waiting on my cooldowns. See, his ulti is running out, mine is still giving me value, I'm getting Fury. Renekton mm -hmm. favored, baby. Renekton favored. Count the auto attacks, gentlemen. Count the auto attacks. Ah, I keep maxing Q. Three and one warriors in my chat. I'll VIP you. But yeah, uh, a lot of matchups like this is it's like I said, small rule, but do you see how it works? Like, just don't let him auto you, man. A lot of Renektons will be like, oh, I need to auto Q, auto W, like full combo. But the thing is, if you do that against Jax, Caves your fucking head in. And last I checked, you don't want to get your head caved in. EE -E through the wave, pull the cannon. Get the XP from the melee, pull the cannon. Jax might be roaming here actually, but I think we're good. When you're playing against Jax also, 
keep in a freeze like this is also really good. I mean, in this case, I think I can just... Ah, uh, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I do, because I'm just stronger than him now. He can't really fight me. Let's play by him. He held it properly. At this point, I can take that trade. Uh, because I'm stronger than him, obviously, I've already acquired an advantage on him. But as you can see, once I get some AD, it, it gets just rougher and rougher. And right now, I'm just gonna hover for the Herald here, gra grab the plant. Like, there's no need for me to start hitting him underneath his tower. One thing against Jax, keep in mind, like, if you are smacking him underneath his tower, things can go wrong really quickly, so don't be... Don't be impatient. Use the minion waves. He doesn't have any wave clear, remember? Use that to your advantage. He can't clear waves well, so every time you like stack a big wave or you crash a cannon creep, uh, cannon wave in, he doesn't really have any counters to it. Yeah. Little cheeky Q there. Again, see the minions are doing work. Every wave I crash, it hurts. Bad timing by me. I think I can 2v1 them though. But I guess I don't need to. I'll recall. My poppy recalled, so I'll recall. I think it was a free dive, but... Uh, right now, we have such a big advantage in the game. There's no need for me to take a risk here. Potentially die. Actually, I won't recall. I'm just gonna stay here and keep pressuring him. I need to recall. I can chip away more damage at the tower if I actually stand on top of the melee creeps and stop him from hitting, but... It's an option. You see, Nidalee is actually there, so it was good for me not to like show and pressure. There's just no need. We're winning bottom side. We're winning mid. We're winning pump jungle. Like, I mean, to be fair, she's level five. Never mind. <laughs> I probably just one shot her. This is what I meant with standing on top of the creep. You know, you just stand on top of the range creeps and you just posture. You know, give them some stress. It helps you chip away the tower. So if you want to slow push waves, that's definitely better for tower damage. But in this case, I was just fast pushing waves. So uh, I was drawing some pressure. That's all. If I can get him to TP here, that's good. If he doesn't TP, I'm always going to smack some plates. Is that a 10 and 1 lethality poppy? Yes. <laughs> and count the autos. You got one auto win? Doesn't matter. One auto is fine, guys. One auto is fine. But don't let him get like full combos on you, yeah? Auto W is acceptable. If you can E before he can W you, it's best. But play on your sustain, play very slow. I'm not saying this is a matchup. This is not like a you Giga Stomp Jax matchup, yeah? This is a... If I had to put numbers on it, I would say it's like a... 60-40 or Nekton, or maybe even a 55-45 or Nekton. You can slowly inch out advantages, but it's nothing impressive. It's not like you're gonna win the game off a 20 CS lead against Jax, but it is winning for a Nekton. No. You do have the pressure, you are stronger than him, you should be at least. So keep that in mind. If I ever play Jax vs Whippo, I'm so on tilt with Whippo in my head, counting multi attacks. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Only when I'm really tryharding, yeah? Like, when I'm not tryharding, I won't, and then I'll probably int, and I'll let you auto me a lot, so... It's fine, you know? That's how you know, like, that's how I notice myself, that's how I catch myself. You know, I have these rules for these matchups. That's how I catch myself realizing, like, oh, fuck. Whatever, I'm just gonna flush on this guy's head just to demoralize him, you know? Um, but yeah, like, that's how I catch myself, right? It's like, oh, man, I'm playing against Camille, I'm not dodging her W. I must not be trying very hard, you know? Like, I, I know there's something wrong with me. Falling in love with Poppy. <laughs> hey, there's a certain streamer that will have you miss, like, will have people misunderstand what you're saying. I needed to hit the Eve to kill her there. I'm angry. Rawr. <laughs> he fell this hex flush. Forty kills, thirteen minutes. There's no other way to play. It's a PvP game, guys, remember? 